Good morning and welcome to Gridbusters. Today is a special day. We're hoping to finish the solar panel installation. Uh, we've got six more panels to go and you'll notice that what we've actually done is we've put the final row of eight panels at the bottom of the roof rather than the top of the roof. Uh, we were going to put them at the top and then we were kind of thinking about it and we thought well actually it's going to be really difficult to install those panels right at the very ridge line because we've got nothing to stand on. You know, when we've been installing the other panels we've been doing it from the bottom up and then we were able to stand on the rails and it makes it very easy and we've only got one roofing ladder and it was going to be really tricky to do. So we've decided to put it at the bottom of the roof. Uh, this makes servicing easier and in the future if we decide to put more panels in uh, we can just put extra rows going up the roof. Uh, I think if we do uh, put more strings of solar panels in we will break that row of eight panels in half and put a ladder gap in again. We haven't put a ladder gap in this time because we didn't put the reinforcing uh, um, uh, wood structure in the roof at the very very end there to move the rail along a little bit to allow for that ladder gap. So you know as far as servicing goes it's very easy to service it because it's at the bottom of the roof so there's no problem with that but if we do decide to put more panels in uh, you know in a year's time or whatever we will just take a few of those panels off, move everything along, put a ladder gap in, reinforce the roof a little bit more and put extra strings in. But for now, it's absolutely fine. I just want to get the thing operational and get some, uh, <laughs> get some power out of it. So the first thing we're going to do today is install those six panels. And then hopefully if we have enough time, we'll start doing some of the cabling, getting the cables down, uh, you know, drilling holes in the roof, putting the cables through the roof, connecting them up to the panels and then connecting them up to the solar combiner boxes. So a lot of stuff to get on with today and uh, hopefully the weather holds out. <laughs> but the first job is going to be uh, moving that scaffolding tower and then uh, installing the, f the final six panels. I think the lesson with this is whenever you order one of these kits, always order a load of spare parts because you're always going to have a bolt that seizes up or something or gets yeah, cross threaded or, yeah. You know. Baker's dozen, isn't it? Right, got a joiner. A joiner, yep. Here we go. to hold that in whilst you bolt it up or is it yeah mm. so we're just measuring the uh, trunking for uh, the uh, negative cable so rather than drilling a hole in another hole in the roof here we're just going to run the negative cable all the way along uh, in trunking down to the other end where we've got to cut a hole in the roof anyway for the other panels, uh, just minimizing the holes in the roof. Oh, not as nimble as you. <laughs> Right, that's it. So if you cable tie your, should I tie this end first, you think? Yeah, how are you tying it on? So we'll stack it. Just round the rail. Like, like that. So between the solar panels and the rail, 
we put in one of these earthing plates, I don't actually know what they're called, um, to ensure that the panel has a good connection between the rail because the outer skin of the, the metal skin of the solar panel has a, an anodized coating, which means it's non-conductive and the rails are non-conductive as well. They're anodized as well. So you need something to pierce through the coating on the solar panel and the rail to create a good electricity connection. And these have little spikes on them. So we put these on the rails and then when we tighten up the bolts, it cuts through and creates a good connection. So we put one on each corner of the solar panels. Um, and it's a bit tricky because when you put them on the rails, they fall off because the roof is so steep. So what with the, the way we're doing it is we tape them on just with some insulation tape, which temporarily holds them whilst we uh, bolt uh, the brackets on. So uh, yeah, that's how we're doing the earthing. Yep. Yep. Is that in yet? It's in, yeah. Oh, hi, that needs a little stick or something. Uh, I, you want to hold it and I'll see if I can go up there. And... Right, there we go. Hang on, it needs to go down a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Right, so you need an Allen key or some here. Yeah. Oh. You have to do like warm up exercises before you do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to take the Allen key? Put this one in loosely. Yeah. So the, when you're putting in earth connections here, uh, we don't need to tape them in, we can just slot them under, underneath. So. It's just the first two earth connections on that side we normally need to tape on. Right. I've put one in. One, I've put, just, just put it in. Oh, right.
we finally managed to get all of the solar panels installed. We unfortunately ran out of cable. We started cabling it up and we, we put a piece of string in to measure the route and I started laying it out on the driveway and it very quickly became apparent that I was 25 meters short of the neutral cable, the black cable. So I've uh, ordered another 50 meter roll. That's not coming now till next week, <laughs> typical. Uh, so uh, we've got a little bit of a delay on our hands. So once that arrives, then we can get all of the cabling done. Now we did start, dri we've drilled some holes in the roof and put some rubber grommets in where the cables go through. Um, so uh, yeah, we've got all that kind of ready. And uh, the other thing which we did is we finished off all of the earthing. So we made sure everything's connected, everything's all connected through. We haven't laid an earth cable from the solar panels down to uh, the breaker panel um, either. So there's still a few things to do, a little bit of cabling to do. We'll probably pick that up at the end of next week once, uh, once the cable has actually arrived. Now, a few of you have asked a lot of questions, technical questions about how many panels I've got, how much power is it gonna generate? Um, so I'm thinking about making a video which kind of goes into, you know, I, I, I'm going to map it all out on a, on a whiteboard possibly and explain um, like a wiring diagram of the whole system. If that's something you would like to see, please leave a comment below the video and let me know. If, if I get enough people leaving um, comments like that, telling me that you want a kind of specification of the uh, system and you'd like to see a wiring diagram and, and all the equipment I have as well, let me know, drop it in the comments. And if enough people are interested in that, I'll make a separate video on that on, on the whiteboard and show you exactly the specifications of the whole system, how it all goes together and how uh, the wiring um, is put together. Uh, so um, yeah, so yeah, really happy. We're not gonna get the power <laughs> turned on this week. However, I am gonna be making some more videos later in the week because we've got to start wiring up the solar combiner box in uh, the garage and start wiring up the charge controllers in the plant room. So there's still loads of stuff to, get on, get, uh, to be getting on with. Now, if you missed the um, solar panel installation when we started, uh, so the first thing we actually did was uh, we put the rails up and we started putting the panels up. If you want to uh, see that video, you can check that video out um, over here.